And what are we making for Jimmy? At the end of the show, we'll be facing food heaven. Oh, my oh. version of that French classic, normally done with fish, a chicken Veronique with crispy braised potatoes, or will it be food hell? A double whammy of mackerel, one grilled with horseradish, and the other one home smoked. It's a delicious dish, that. Tom, what do you like the sound of? Sorry, Jimmy, chicken's boring. No, oh, the chicken's on. boring. <laughs> <laughs> mackerel, I tell you, it's a great dish, that. I'm sure you have to smoke your own mackerel as well. Uh, right, cooking next is a man at the forefront of modern Scottish cooking. His restaurant has won countless awards, including a shiny Michelin star. So it's the perfect time to have him making his debut on Saturday Kitchen 2, as it's Burns Night tomorrow night. Welcome to the show, Tom Kitchen. Great to have you on the show. I love your food as well. Thank you very Big much. Big fan of your food. Because it's so, it uses the best, best of British produce, doesn't That's it? Really? Right, That's right, yeah. That's what it's all about. So yeah. what are we cooking? So today I'm going to do something which is really seasonal for this time of year. Yeah. These young little um, teal, which yeah. are beautifully tender, very small, very tender, with seasonal salsify, purple yeah. spout and broccoli, yeah. and some pancetta. Pancetta, because it's a wild duck, the smallest wild duck there is, but we've got this lovely, lovely little wild duck here. But you're going to do it slightly differently. You're going to take the, take the wishbone out? Yeah, what I'm oh, going to okay. do, Martin, is I'm going to take the wishbone out here. Yeah. And what that's going to do is going to, once it's roasted, it's going to make it very easy to take the breast off the bone there. Right. Okay, so we just gently go down either side there. You should be doing that fingers. with chicken as well as all, all birds, really. Yeah, with all birds, but it's, it's highly simple. recommended. Now, you want me to do the salsify, which is this stuff here. Yep, lovely. Also, people don't normally see what this stuff is, but this is salsify, which can be peeled. You're going to actually use the peelings for this. You're going to deep fry yeah, it. You're yeah, going to, you're going to do some nice peelings, keep the skin on, and we're going to dust that in flour and crisp it up in the fryer there. Okay. And we're also going to do some little cooked salsify. To go with it. Yeah, and then we're going to do the, the broccoli. But this stuff's often called the oyster plant, eh? Because it's got a flavour of sort of oysters. Yeah, it's got that funny oyster flavour, but yeah. it's really great this time of year. So it's really important that with these game birds, we use the, the root vegetables that are in season to this time of it. year as well. I think yeah. that's a great way of cooking. Okay, so what are you doing there? You're just literally tying the... Yeah, just tied the legs together there, so that's just going to keep the bird held together nicely. Now, I mentioned these awards because, I mean, not only that, it's partly due to the fact where you've trained when you were younger as well, because, I mean, with the great Pierre Kaufman... Pierre the Bear, yeah, that's Pierre right. Bear, yeah, yeah. Oh. Laton Claire, and I mean, some amazing... Alain de Casse from France. Yeah. Some amazing chefs. Yeah, I was very lucky. I, uh, I went through the real proper... Michelin star training school. I worked yeah. with the what I class the greatest chefs in the world and um, all I've done is taken those wonderful techniques that I've learned with those chefs yeah. back to uh, sunny Leith in Edinburgh yeah. and um, using the local produce that we have there and so it's uh, and it's definitely working because restaurant of the year you won all kinds of young chef of the year young chef of the Everything. year yeah it's uh, all these accolades mean is that you have to continue working exactly harder, yeah <laughs> So what I'm doing there, James, is yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get some lovely colour on the breast there. So that's going to help release the flavour, the natural flavour of the, the teal. Yeah. And then we're going to roast that in the oven for about eight to ten minutes, depending on the size of the bird. You're going to roast it, because I think the other one's just about ready as just well. Just about so ready, I hope so. Now, because you're the youngest person in Scotland to have achieved a Michelin star, aren't you, really? Well, yeah, I'm sure someone will pop that record soon. And, of but, course, yeah. I mentioned Jimmy, you're the youngest, youngest person, you know, ever to get a number one single, but we have, actually, in the archive, got a shot of this guy. Who? On his very, very you first can. year of oh, cooking. No. Oh, oh no. really? Oh, yeah. oh no, this, that's you, that's this yeah. you have no. got to see. <laughs> Roll this one. Now, the next step is to make the dough for the potsticker dumplings. And as I said before, it uses the same dough as the Chinese pancakes, but half the recipe. <laughs> as he said, it wasn't in the rehearsal. But we you're found it. The same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's not what's going to happen to me after. Yeah, where's the hen? It's the same dish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right over to right, you. We've got the teal. teal. Lovely, lovely coloured skin there. Yeah. We're going to pop that in the oven. Ooh. Got some hot, smoky ones there as well. So yeah. lovely. We're going to let that rest. With all, well, with you all. Let it rest. I'll switch the timer off of here. With all meat, we, we want to leave it to rest there, like a, like a good piece of steak or anything, just to let the natural juices relax in the bird there, and it's going to hopefully be lovely and go. pink there. And don't forget that all recipes cooked in the studio, including this one from Tom, are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Also, it's a very special treat today. Ken over there will be sticking around <laughs> after the show to do a live web chat, so you can log in and put your questions straight to him. Sorry about that, Ken, but I had to show that up. <laughs> a little bit of flour on this... You're uh, very naughty. <laughs> ..on these crumbs as well. And I'm going to deep fry these. So what's next? What have we got? We've right, got the salsify. So yeah, I've put the salsify into a pan with some olive oil, a little yeah. bit of seasoning. 
Right. A little squeeze of lemon juice, which is going to keep the salsafine lovely and white there. And we just toss that a little bit. And then what I'll do, it, instead of cooking it in the water, I'm just going to add a little bit of chicken stock on top there. And that's going to give that a lovely, intense flavour of salsify there. So over here, if you can see me through all this sort of <laughs> stuff, um, over here I've got uh, basically the salsify uh, have gone in there to make the chips, just dusting a little bit of flour, first of all. But I think the secret is this, don't overcook them, because they can go bitter, can't they? That's right, yeah, if so it goes too dark, it's going to go bitter. So you just take the light brown, as soon as they're light brown, take them out, because you'll find that they actually continue to cook a little bit as well. So as soon as they're light brown, which generally when all the foam starts to go away from the fryer, and the flour helps there as well, James, helps doesn't it? It just helps well. crisping it up a little bit as well. There you go. And I'm going to take these out now. They're looking so, great with the peel on as well. So I'm now going to blanch my purple sprouting, which is just such a lovely vegetable. But what a great thing with purple sprouting, always make sure we cook it in boiling salted water so it, yeah. it takes on that flavour. And bang in season right now as well. Bang in season. Yeah. Once it's cooked, take it out, drain it, and I've started sorting off my pancetta. And then I'm going to add my purple sprouting and my salsify together with the pancetta. And that's going to take on the lovely I'll bacon. I'll bring the tea over because well. you want that taken out. That's you lovely, you isn't it? Just drain off the fat and then you're going to make a sauce out of this, aren't That's you? right. We'll drain off the fat, but all that flavour of the tea is still in there. Smell yeah. that. It's absolutely delicious. Okay. And what okay. have we got for the sauce? What are you going to put So in what there? I've used is a little bit of game jus, yeah. or you could just use a little bit of chicken stock. Yeah. And game jus is just when you take the carcass of the teal and cook it out Rust with it some down. chicken stock okay. and reduce it. Lovely. Look at that. Well, well that I mentioned flavor. your restaurant as well, but you're doing, you're doing food for people at home as well, is that right? Well, cooking... we started a so service. It's like a takeout, is it, or something like that? Well, yeah, it's, a, it's kind of Michelin star takeout, but, you know, we do right. a service called uh, Your Kitchen. Right. Which is where we'll take the food from the restaurant to your home or to your business. Yeah. So it's just about trying to grow the business a little bit there, yeah. So it's kind of pretty handy with your second name, your surname, isn't it, really? Yeah, you imagine the stick <laughs> I got when I was at school. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably, yeah, because keep <laughs> adding on to it. Yeah. But it's done you well, I mean, you know, because not only that, you've got, obviously, the, the outdoor catering as well, but your own book, you've just started to write your own yeah, book. Yeah, it's really exciting. We're doing a book just now which goes with our philosophy, which yeah. is called Tom Kitchen from Nature to Plate. Right. But it's also a little bit of a story about young Scots lad going to work in the kitchens of Alan Ducasse, Pierre Kaufman, yeah. Yeah. and uh, the experiences of actually setting up yeah. your own restaurant. Yeah. And they don't teach you that when you, when you work Alan for uh, Yes, uh, uh, many years ago he introduced me to this Scottish uh, bruiser named uh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> 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 